Hello, I'm the Mumble Cat and welcome back to home. I looked again at the photo, I found the house. I found it in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. I don't blame you. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area was near the river, various houses and even the water tower near the old rail station. Ooh, something about this water tower. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. Oh, Rachel. Please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find a way out first, and I needed to see what else was down in there, down there. This is kind of weird because my sister is called Rachel. Um. Footprints in the dirt look like more than one kind, and a lot of traffic. There's nothing here. No. Hmm. A work table covered in papers and dirt. A handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yes. I tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Oh, should I have taken that, actually? It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't have believed what I saw. What was this place? Maybe I shouldn't have taken that, because if someone finds me with it, they'll think I murdered somebody. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Hmm. Crudely made shells. They looked like they were made. They were out holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I couldn't see the warnings. What's it mean? It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Blood. Don't just don't just say that. That sounds a bit wrong. Um, is there anything else around here before I go down? Ooh. The desk looked old and was caked in uh, caked with grime. Excuse me. On it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible note. notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. She is a of oh None of it made any sense to me. Oh there's a door. Oh, the bones. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that st stuck stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that wo that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? It's possible. Some kind of old boxes, they looked like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved in moved to town. What the hell are they doing here? Dun 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 Is that a bat? Yeah, they're bats up there. Sounds a bit like um I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Um, this bat's making a weird noise. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looked to be a long way that I jumped down. No. Maybe there was some other way to get down. They were just getting more injury to my leg. Exactly what I thought. This bat's are making really funny noises like a weird shooter game or something. 
If I was scared before, I was terrified now. Why were the photos of our house there and these clothes? What was... the moon? Was that why I was there? I checked my back pocket and I and realised my wallet was missing. Did I come to that house or did somebody bring me? Maybe someone brought you. Who knows, who knows. Um, that place was getting worse all the time I knew I had to keep moving. Interesting. I wondered what would I have found if I had dug deeper. Probably a big house. If you're talking about digging deeper into that mystery in the house, I don't know. Why did I take the gun? I don't know why you took the gun. Because you're weird. The guy upstairs must have done this, but what was his interest in the water tower? Some of the markings match the scribbles I saw on the bookshelf upstairs. There wasn't anything here. Whatever this place was, it was obviously used a lot. Well, duh! You said that a few minutes ago. Oh, Roger PP, okay, okay. Uh, how do I get down? Because that thing's going to break. The smell in that room was like old grease and rot. I wasn't getting any closer to finding anything useful. Well, you can say that again. The slight fumes that still emanated from the cans made me dizzy. Mm, I don't know. What a... Your wallet's missing. Okay, I'll just um, jump down and see what happens. Because I don't think there's another way to get down. Oh no! I could just walk. Oh, well, I'm a bit of an idiot. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. I didn't take it. I think it would hold me, so I left it. Wait. I heard something that scared me. Why is there a skeleton there that I can't reach? Take the rope. Yep, yep. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Yes. I could hear a faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out danger due to cave-in! <gasps> I don't know what that was. I wanted nothing more than to get out of there. The way it is, is talk- No thank you. The way he's talking about um, stuff is like in the past. So he must have survived. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. So you are the murderer, aren't you? There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared with it. You think there's a door here? I could hear a faint trickling sound, like water. What was that? Probably water. Ooh. A kitchen knife covered in drying blood, thinking about it made me sick, I didn't even want to touch it. Don't take that. I still had the old handgun, I wasn't sure what good a knife would have been. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't think you want both, because that would make it look even worse, wouldn't it? Oh god, what the hell was that? The door was locked, there was a mis musty smell from inside.
I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Oh, what does this do? I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? No. I left the valve alone. Good for you. Don't want to turn it in case I... That noise sounds weird. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. No. Leave it alone for a second, because I need to know why, how many doors there are and what I need to turn them for. There are so many valves, why? This one's locked, isn't it? Okay. Just um, turn them in order, I guess. Can I do it again? These valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. So the, the valve was still active. Did I turn it again? Whatever these valves did, this one wasn't pumping water anymore. Don't really know why I'm pumping them, but to be honest, but still active. They do. So they pump. This one does it four times one. Oh. Okay then. Never mind. Maybe. The, oh, that sound was probably pumping water then. It sounded like someone was chopping a tree. Or sawing a tree, rather. The door's locked. Uh, I don't want the knife. Turning those valves must have drained the water that was in this room. There was a ladder I could reach. Anything else around? No? Oh, looked like the water drained out of the of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There was a small metal key left floating in this shallow pool of rancid water. Take it. I pocketed the small key, but it was so odd shaped I had no idea what it might open. No, oh, the smell hadn't improved much, and the room was damp. It might open that door, but I want to see what's over here. Hmm. The door's locked. I could see a faint light within. Can't I use the key? I guess not. So we have got to end it there now. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more.